Yes. As you can see, no cogging. Alright, so if you clicked on this video, you probably have a 1603 brushless, uh, one of those little barren drift trucks, or one of the other sub models, the 1601 Rally, um, and all the other four or five cars that they got out now. Um, and you've probably come across a video at this point of how the brushless one kind of sucks. Um, the brushless one, uh, when you get it, you go to play with it and it just glitches and cogs all over the place. It's kind of fun if you play with it, you know, up top and you're really ripping on it, but down low. And the low RPMs, it's terrible. It's it's really frustrating to try to drive. Um, and you right away, if you're like me, you want to fix the problem. So I've had, uh, I started actually with the brushless version. I've got two other brushed versions because I just found they were a better RC car. But as I had them, I was still trying to figure out how to fix the issue without going to a full new ESC, a new receiver, um, and a new transmitter. And it took me about six months of, I don't know why it took me so long, because once you see what I did, you're going to be like, oh yeah, duh. Like if you've been in, uh, if you've been in RC cars for, you know, a year or so, you started learning about, uh, brushless stuff in KV, but, um, I'm going to switch the camera view and kind of show you my cars here and I'll talk about the, uh, the brushless version and how I got it to work good so let me go ahead and switch it all right here's my three cars I have that's a stock one the only thing that's not stock is this I'm waiting on an axle to come for the rear because I stole it for one of my other cars this is my full drift car that is fully built with a Traxxas uh, brush 380 motor uh, this thing's awesome the only negative thing about this is when it, it loses a little bit of range now with your transmitter when it gets far away. And then over here, we've got the car that you're here for. See all my bodies over here that I've got going for these setups? But if you clicked on this video, you're probably trying to figure out how I did it. And this is it. You get to keep your ESC. Mine's sitting over here right now because these wires are too short. So you do have to buy ex extender wires if you want to put it over here, which I already ordered, found them for $1.99, and it's like 5 bucks to ship it. But this little thing here is the answer. Um, the problem is, with these, is that this stock ESC does not put out enough juice or enough amps to power this thing here. Um, now this motor is 39k 3900kV um, and then this motor here and this is where where the answer is is 3200kV so it's got more torque in the beginning and it's actually a little bit smaller of a motor um, this can uh, in diameter is a 20 by 40 long this is a 25 by 35 long so this is actually a smaller motor um, as far as testing it and getting it out there I could tell right away that it was doing the job um, you know I can like hold it here and it won't cog and it'll spin the tires and it's just got so much more torque um, it feels like maybe it's lost a mile or two up top um, but I mean you can you still can't control the thing when it gets up at the top speeds it still goes so fast so um, I am using it here with a 1500 uh, Z battery, 2S, it's 1500 mAh, and um, that one works really well in here. I did try it with the stock battery, and it seemed fine too, so that, that seems like it took care of the cogging. The only time I ever noticed any bit of cogging with this was when I turned the power all the way down to super slow. It did just a tiny bit because it was trying to get some power, but nobody really plays with it that low anyway. And we were playing with it for a while like that because I was letting my four-year-old play with it. And it was it was still way less than this thing does. So um, if you're wondering what 
motor this is give you a close-up you can see it's a surpass hobby 2040 32 kV and you want to get the one that has the 2.3 uh, shaft that's the size of the shaft and then these are 3.5 bullets so if you're gonna add an extender to put that over there I or personally ordered a 4 inch extender um, and it was pretty cheap so um, that's why my ESC is just sitting here flopping around because I want to do some more testing um, I want to put the drift tires on and go drift it and see uh, see how it drifts because I hated this car with that motor on there drifting because I couldn't be real smooth with it but who knows maybe it's it's so smooth now it might end up on my uh, my favorite car here um, but we'll see I, I gotta throw the drift tires back on and uh, that's that's the only real test I, I still need to do with it and and then I'll know you know that I don't know that I'll put that in the video or not um, but I can tell you right offhand, if it works 10 times smoother with these tires and they're gripped up and I can drift with this and and uh, the throttle response is nice and smooth, it's going to be 10 times better with, with these on here because um, there's not going to be any glitching or cogging or anything like that going on. So that's the answer. That's the answer we've all been looking for. Um, it's, it's a Surpass Hobby 2040. 3200 kV um, find them for about 20 bucks on eBay or on Banggood um, it said it was gonna take like a month and a half to got, get here it got here in like two weeks and I was surprised it actually got here so quick so that's it we finally figured it out Richard, Richard went backwards. <laughs> what happened, Richard? Uh, I managed to jump close to me. I was going to wipe off the top. I, th there. I think Richard lost the car here. Yeah. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm just trying to get the dirt off. So. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, it's... Richard's an old pro racer here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it's not really, there's no cogging now, it's just wide open. As much as you can drive it. <laughs> but like here, I want to I want to show him something, I want to show him something. Go ahead and hit the throttle. See, I'm holding this and it's literally not cogging. It, it, it's got that much power now where it won't even cog out anymore. Now that we got the little, uh, little 2040 on there. Give it one more rip, Richard. You can see it's gone. It might not be quite as quick as that little blue motor, but it's it's pretty much there. So that's how you fix it. Woo! Ah! <laughs> it's still wild to play with. I can't see why you'd need more power than that. He's gone. Richard's gone. <laughs>